what is happening guys Mike here welcome back to the channel today we got a very exciting video for you talking all about the new moves that flagship has been doing lately we actually just covered this brand in their brand new gold release if you guys saw that video then you already know this brand is making some really cool moves right now they're making some changes doing some new things and so we got a lot to talk about we're gonna be doing a full brand showcase next month of this brand actually but for right now I did want to discuss a couple of the changes that are going on right now. So what I got here for you today is a couple of formula changes and even a brand new product to discuss on this episode of The Scoop. All right, so we got a lot to cover today, so I'm gonna go through it kind of quick. When I sat down to actually film this video here, I, I just a minute ago, I sat down. I originally had planned to approach this kind of like I've done in the past, you know, with an encyclopedia of small details and going through all the old stuff, the new stuff, all of those details, and then I sat down here to do this and I remembered half of you guys don't pay attention to all that and the other half probably have already left the video even by now. So instead, I'm just going to lay it out for you guys. We're just going to do it straight up here, quick, easy. What we're dealing with here today is we got two products that have had changes done to them and one that's completely new. The two that have had changes done to them are the cream pomade and the matte paste. The new fella on the block here is the flagship texturizing cream and so today I'm going to give you guys all the info on this and all the stuff I found out while testing it for you guys which has been pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start with the cream pomade. Now the changes to the cream pomade according to the brand obviously mostly had to do with the consistency, a slightly heavier hold and what they're calling a more pomade like styling experience now when it comes to that consistency the old one was a bit more creamy in my opinion was a bit more creamier in the scoop this one isn't hard to scoop by any means you can take a look at that here i think this one is just thicker i think it's a bit waxier even i, I think it's just kind of a, a, that's really the best way i can describe it it's a little thicker it's a little waxier that's just what i see in the jar compared to what I know was on the last one. Now, when it comes to styling with the cream pomade though, I think that slightly heavier hold is very true. I think for sure what we got here is a bit more hold, but with that increased hold, I think you've got a much waxier presence as well. I mean, this thing has some solid tack to it. I think, I mean, it's got tug. I'm telling you, it's 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 gotten a lot stronger in my opinion. I mean, this thing is not messing around here. It's got some serious action going on there, and that is not what I remember from the old one. So I think they gave it a, a big boost of hold there. Now, though, let's switch this out for the matte paste. The changes I'm told here with the matte paste had to do with the size. It's now a larger jar. It's now a four-ounce jar. If you remember, the previous one was a smaller jar, but the Consistency was another change. This one is now easier to scoop, like a lot easier actually. And then on top of that, we have better hold and an easier washout. Now, this one sounded like a big revamp and a big reformulation. If you just look closer at it here, I think you guys can actually see that for yourselves. It's got a nice creamy consistency. It's not super thick at all like the last one was, but I think it goes without saying that it's completely different than what we saw with the first one. And in using that, that just became a lot more evident so I thought that I'd actually demo this out for you guys because I felt like that was just the right thing to do. Here we got some clean blow dried hair of course and I'm working in about two scoops and the biggest difference that's hitting me right here in the follicles is the fact that the tug from the first version is gone. It's completely gone and it's replaced with this slick smooth application that yes you can see here it does have a little bit of a gleam to it at first but that begins to kind of dry out and settle almost instantly as I move it around 
around. So it kind of slides right into the hair and then settles so you guys don't have to cry when there's a bit of tug. Other than that, the volume, texture, hold, everything seems to be in check based on what I saw last time. There is probably a little bit more hold in there, but really what I'm seeing here is a great looking style with a really nicely reformulated matte paste. Now for the washout, I did find that pretty much it was a lot easier than what I saw last time. I don't remember last time being too bad, but either way, this time I tested it for you guys. It was pretty, pretty easy. It was pretty much a water rinse. It just came right out. It really didn't put up much of a fight at all. I really couldn't feel anything left in my hair after I rinsed it out. My hair just felt pretty normal to me. And as for the scent, I did get the fresh citrus here, which we will talk about more in a sec because I actually got fresh citrus in the third product we're going to talk about today, the brand new one, the texturizing cream. But overall, I think they knocked it out of the park with this reformulation. But we do have one more thing to look at. So I'm going to, you know, I'm worrying about time right now. So I'm going to move on here. We do have the newest product to the flagship line to look at today, and that is their new texturizing cream. Now, according to the brand, again, obviously, this is a new release and one that we have not yet discussed here on the channel. So let's take a look at the specs here. This is described by flagship as a water-based texturizing cream that offers a medium hold and neutral shine. It's, yeah, neutral shine. It's also said to feature smooth application and pre and post styling abilities. Now this one here really sparked my interest for two reasons. One, it's a medium hold and I'm told it's actually on the lighter end of medium and I think that's probably where it ended up for me as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But usually flagship products that we've seen in the past tend to be on the heavier end as far as hold goes. So that's, uh, that's kind of new. And two, it's not a matte finish. A lot of times products like this, you know, texturizing creams, matte creams, matte paste, they, they all tend to be matte finishes. So I thought it was interesting that they would go a different route entirely and go into that neutral shine zone. But I'm sure you guys are interested in taking a look inside the jar here, so let's do that real quick. Looking inside the jar here, we have a very creamy looking product. It might be the creamiest product, in fact, that I've seen this brand make. I definitely think I see where it's going here as far as pre-stylers go. It doesn't want to constrict the hair too much, give you you know enough room to have that texture. So. I was super excited to try this out. I think using this as a pre-styler was obviously where I wanted to start the demos. And I'm going to share something with you guys here actually that I don't usually do as far as demos go and testing a product and doing my reviews. And that's actually a failure. I don't usually show this to you guys, but what it involves usually is... is testing a product and in this case I used too much product during what my first test as a pre-styler and when I saw that it immediately you know sparked into my brain that hey maybe you guys might want to know that that there's the potential to use too much and not get the correct outcome I was kind of expecting lightweight texture filled you know something with more volume but you can see here I just got too much product in there so let's go ahead and reset here get a smaller scoop going and after I blow dry it in of course course, here is the result that I got. You can clearly see the difference there. It's immense. It's, it's night and day, really. There's way more texture, way more volume. It's not as confined by the product, so it's free to flow and take advantage of that volume. Now let's go ahead and just finish it off here. I'm going to add in another small scoop, and I do think it works very well, actually. It, it, you know, it applies really nice. It is on the lighter end, hold-wise. No tug there. Styling is pretty much effortless, and here's what I end Ended up with in the end. Now, before we finish up my thoughts on this, I know this video is going to be long, but I did have one more thing that I found out while testing that I wanted to mention here. And I'm actually pretty excited about this one. And that is this product's ability to work alongside the matte paste. And actually, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense because you have that lighter foundation set up from the texturizing cream and pre-styling, give you that nice volume, the texture, and then you bring in the hold from the matte paste here. You bring in that hold hold that additional texture. I mean, it really felt like the texture cream was just lying in wait for something like this to happen, something to just pick it up and amplify it, make it even better. A nice helping of hold, a lot higher volume texture. I mean, look at this final result. I was totally blown away by how well this combo actually worked. 
I mean, seriously, not only was this a killer combo, obviously, but it just got better as the day went on. I mean, good lord, check out this. About six hours later, it's hardly moved. Things are still looking fantastic. This one just went on and on and on. I'm definitely thinking it's going to be one of those awesome combos for the summer, for sure. But real quick, the scent and washout on the texturizing cream. I need to give you guys that information. I have here one of the limited edition scents. That's just what he sent over. It's the fresh citrus. And this honestly might be my favorite scent that he's released. I mean, it's, it's fresh. It's citrusy. I mean, it fits the name. Obviously it's not too strong. You can't smell it in the hair and you know, it, it's just a nice fresh scent. It's not aggravating to my allergies. I just appreciated it, you know, pretty well. As far as the washout goes though, this one here, I think it mostly rinsed out with water I kind of would recommend shampoo still though for me if, if I used two scoops I found some of the oils did stick around a little bit after rinsing but I did just go in with the shampoo pulled it straight out done deal nothing really left to talk about there that is pretty much it though I'm trying to wrap this up quickly I know we went a little long today I had a lot to present to you guys we made it thanks so much for sticking around for this we made it to the finish line and everything I just showed you today is available right now at the flagship shop and remember to check out that mercantile section of the shop too because they have a lot of other awesome brands there now so you can save yourself some shipping and get a couple different brands all at once there save you guys some time some shipping things like that so make sure you check that out and as always i want to thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe all that good stuff help me out it's a big help i'll catch you guys in the next one take it easy i'll see you next time